odds are if you guys clicked on this video, you guys are interested in potentially getting corrective eye surgery, and I'm here to help you out with that as a person that has gotten it not once, but twice. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Connie and welcome to my video. For today, we're going to be discussing PRK surgery, um, the recovery period of it, and basically getting it done a second time. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Okay, earlier this year in February 2021, I got PRK surgery, which is one of the main corrective eye surgeries out there. It's literally either that or LASIK. And I made a video about it, so you can kind of learn about it like here, or go ahead and click the link down in my description box to watch that full video. It goes into more depth about um, preparation for the surgery, the actual surgery footage itself, and my recovery there. Um, but for this video, I kind of wanted to take it back and talk about getting it done again and how I got to this point and how it's been since then. Before surgery, I had a negative 5.75 prescription in both eyes approximately, and that literally meant that my vision could really only see up to like here very clearly, like this was as close as it could possibly get for me, for me to be able to actually read, do things. I primarily rely, no, I wholeheartedly relied on my glasses, didn't wear contact lenses, um, so at that point it was just kind of getting disruptive for my lifestyle to wake up not being able to see a thing and if I lost my glasses then I wouldn't be able to see anything. So I decided it was the right time to look into corrective eye surgery and that's when I stumbled across either getting LASIK or PRK. Um, most often times people are going to want to choose LASIK because of the easier recovery but that decision isn't really up to you. That's up to how your eyeballs are shaped or something like that and your optometrist, what they think you're best suited for. Um, so I was best suited for PRK, which is what I got. Um, to summarize, that surgery is basically, they cut off the little layer of the cornea, they use a laser, they shoot it, boom, 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 and you heal, and over that time period, you're gonna regain and get 20-20 vision. After three months of recovering from my first surgery, my right eye performed at 2015, and then my left eye performed at 2020 with an astigmatism. Now, it honestly doesn't really sound that bad considering the fact that I could only see up to here for like a majority of my entire life, and now I can literally see the world. My optometrist said, if I want to get it redone, like this left eye, I totally could. There's really no harm or there's very little risk in doing it again. Um, I might as well because if I had to do anything correctional after like the first two years after getting um, the original surgery done, it's free, like free of charge. So I was like, frick, I might as well do it now versus like doing it later, right? Um, so then I decided to do it again. Hit June of 2021, I prepped again for surgery. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I cut corners a bit because I was lazy, which wasn't good. Um, but came surgery day, everything happened the same way that it did the first time. Um, what slightly did differ in the recovery period okay. though, was the fact that this eye was swollen and a different size from this eye. I mean, not gonna lie, my eyes are not the same size anyways but hold on i'm gonna just show you guys a photo so yeah um so that happened and then i started doing research and went down this huge rabbit hole of is my eye stuck like this forever because i'm gonna freak the frick out obviously as you guys can tell my eyes did not get stuck like that so we all right we're cool but just know that is one of the possible risks of doing the surgery because when the eyeball when your eyelids get pulled apart for so long with that like such a that, that tool it could mess up your things second time around when it came up to the recovery part i actually felt discomfort i really wish i remembered exactly what the pain felt like um my memory's not that great <laughs> but it just did not feel good like i wish i could explain it to you there was just discomfort and i didn't feel that before it wasn't like constant pain or anything like not anything that i couldn't tolerate but it just felt really uncomfortable and it would happen in like these sporadic like moments like it would just hurt like ah and then it'd be chill you know what i mean 
I mean, maybe you don't know what I mean. Another thing that I noticed about getting corrective surgery again for the second time is that it took a bit longer for this eye to heal. Um, I believe the first time I did it, it was generally about like a month to a month and a half for it to stabilize. I think for the second time around, even my optometrist mentioned that the second surgery takes a bit longer to heal. Um, so I guess that's normal. And now it's been June, like almost half a year since I've gotten it done. And my eyes are completely well. I can see clearly. And I don't feel like one is outperforming. Wait a minute. Okay, I don't think one eye is outperforming the other, so I feel like it's a pretty balanced vision that I got going on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested in getting this, I, again, 125% agree on getting it. Would I do it a third time? Hell fucking no. I hope I don't have to do it again. Um, just because I don't want to get scared and have my eye get stuff like that. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching my video. That pretty much wraps it up. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know. I would love to help you guys out. Um, I should have said this in the beginning, but I'm no doctor. So if you guys have any kind of actual medical concerns, consult a doctor because I don't know zip. So yeah, I mean, other than that, I hope you were able to gain something from this and you guys have a better idea about whether or not you guys want to get corrective surgery or if you guys are trying to get it again. So thank you guys so much. Take care and happy holidays.